many of my gym rat pals pop creatine supplements. And when you oh, talk yeah. about the energetic state, I think you were talking about creatinine. If you were worried about muscle loss, uh, let's say you had, you know, if you had cancer or, or something like that, you might go to a doctor and, and, and have a 24-hour creatinine test. So basically, the gold standard for assessing muscle mass in human clinical settings is to collect all of your urine for 24 hours and assess creatinine. And what creatinine is, is, is just the, the metabolite of creatine in your muscles. So, so each little muscle cell has, has the creatine. It kind of evaporates at a very steady rate. So it's, it's good kind of ruler. It doesn't matter how much you use your muscles. Your doctor would take 24 hours worth of urine uh, and assess that. We can't do that. <laughs> we collect samples as we can get them. Um, and we can assess the basically how dilute a urine sample is and compare the amount of creatinine to the diluteness of the urine. And the more muscular an animal is, the higher the ratio of creatinine. It's really changed uh, what we can do. That's, it's been a limitation for these kinds of studies where you want to know how does energetic condition affect things like reproduction and competitive success and all that stuff. And if you can't weigh your animals, you're guessing. And a lot of people have done that, made visual estimations. She's looking fat today. Ah. <laughs> you know, on a one to five scale, how fat is this animal? That's pretty difficult to rely on. So, so we have the creatinine measure, and then we have a measure of insulin production that we can get from urine. Uh, which tells us about energy balance. So basically, how uh, how many more calories are they consuming than they're expending? So with those two in hand, we're we're getting a better picture of how well individual animals are doing. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll join us for Dr. Thompson's talk on the secret lives of female chimpanzees on Wednesday, August 17th at the Herald Washington Library. Until then, check out some of our other cool science videos. And remember, science the day.